Hello guys, it is Monday and we're headed over to the house. Can't wait to see it because the painters finished the bathroom. We haven't seen the bathroom yet and the master bedroom looks awesome. So I'll be showing you guys that. We're getting there. We are getting there. We have a little bit more of that brown to cover up, but we're getting there. Brown that won't go away. <laughs> it's almost gone. So, I've been meaning to tell you guys this. I just had to wait. You know, sometimes you can't share everything right away on YouTube just for safety and security reasons because you just never know. But. Jennifer's uh, pregnant! No, I am not. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> actually put it up for sale we put it up for rent um, so I'm gonna explain that really quickly because I know some of you guys have been asking about it and everything um, with our house we live in Michigan we bought at the top of the market probably the most expensive that house has ever been and I don't know if it'll ever get back to that point we had no idea that the market was going to crash of course so we have been living there waiting for the market to rebound and it has some but it isn't um, what we paid for it so we wanted to sell um, our first agent said that we could get we could put it up for about 10,000 more than what the second agent um, said would be the the best case scenario that we can sell our house for hopefully that makes sense um, the first agent wasn't really familiar with the area. Um, the second agent knows the area really well and he said, best ca case scenario, you can sell it for X. Which means we would lose a lot of money if we sold our house and we've been paying on it you know, for years and everything. So we decided to put our house up for rent. Um, we might just do it for a little while. We might do it for you know, a few years. We'll kind of see. Um, so, we put our house up for rent, got a huge response. Um, the first people that came to look at it loved the house, um, and they um, did everything. Um, we had them, you know, do the criminal background check, credit report, um, all the stuff, make sure that they would be good renters and everything. So, we um, had them sign a one-year lease, and we're all set, and we need to be out of our house before April 1st, but I think we're going to let them move in um, the Sunday before, just so they, you know, have a weekend day to work, to move in. So, um, yes, we need to get out of our house by the end of March, um, but we're really happy because that was one thing that was kind of stressful and everything. Um, you know, just trying to make sure we didn't have two mortgage payments for too long. Um, but yeah, it's all taken care of. Um, God really worked that out. And the renters seem like, you know, they'll be really great renters and everything. But yeah, so hopefully that will work out and hopefully our house will um, come up in value some over the next maybe year or two or something. And then we'll kind of decide from there if we want to keep renting it out or ourselves but yeah along with everything else we've been doing we've uh, run into a lot of new things and been learning a lot of new things so we were not anticipating becoming landlords but uh, <laughs> we had prepared before we uh, decided that we'd buy a new house and if it came down to that, that that's what we'd do so it wasn't like a, a shock it was just a plan B for us what a difference some paint makes. This is our bathroom. And this is soft chinchilla, uh, Benjamin Moore. Warm chinchilla. <laughs> We've called it a million different names. I'll put the uh, paint color 
names in the description box because a lot of you guys ask and um, I'll try to remember to uh, put all of the ones that we've used so far in the description box. Looks so good. Such a difference. We did the uh, beam, the blue, so that it would sand out. Awesome. And then they painted that in blue. The door is covering the window until I get some blinds. We have someone working here, uh, finishing our baseboard. Awesome. And then this is our bedroom. This is like a smoky blue color. I love this color. Oh, no, but it's definitely, it's definitely not as blue. Yeah. I camera focus. Really pretty. This will look really good with the grays and silvers and whites that I have. Yay! It's coming. Mm -hmm. We only have a few hours here today to paint. John had to had to work, and then we have to get back. <clears throat> it looks so good. And I'll show you um, more of of what we painted in a little bit. Okay, we have some of our baseboards done and I wanted to show you guys. I don't know if it's doing it justice, but they look so good. They're nice and tall, makes a huge difference. The ones that were in here before were a lot shorter and um, weren't in the best shape. Um, they need to be painted so we're gonna paint them you know, after they're installed so that we can cover up all the nails and everything and you know everything gets bumped around but yeah it's looking good some things are getting done that makes me feel a lot better i think it's going to start moving kind of quick now um, once the painting is done and i am going to show you down there um there's a man here working on the baseboards on the main floor so you know but yeah and we're having the baseboards done first so that we can paint them before the wood floor goes in. We didn't really understand the process, but um, the same person who's doing the baseboard is doing the wood floor, so that's what he recommended. But that way we can cover up all these little holes from the nails and any spots where they get dinged up and stuff, so that'll work. I'm getting excited again. <laughs> I mean, I have been excited, but I think in my last vlog it was like, ah. <laughs> So yeah, all the baseboards are in here and in the closet. It's coming along. Yay. Yeah, one of the workers left their Mountain Dew. I think I can throw this away. <clears throat> but yeah, getting exciting. And then this is the main floor. You can't really tell on camera how good they look. They're nice and tall. I don't think it's really doing it justice, but this is John's office, and I, I want to avoid the street view, so there's a window over here to the left that's really pretty and big, but I won't show the whole thing. So they painted this. And we did the gray owl in here because there are French doors um, that will go here. We took them off so that it would be easier for the floors to be installed and everything. But there are French doors and they have glass so you could you can see in here. So John wanted to do the gray owl in here as well. <laughs> and he's trying to decide what he wants on the wall. He always said that he wanted like skyline pictures of different cities that we have gone to. We love big cities. But yesterday he was like, oh, maybe I could get like golf <laughs> decor. <laughs> and I was cracking up, but he said there are some pretty cool pictures of different um, golf holes and different um, golf courses and stuff. So I don't know. I don't know what, he, what he'll decide on, but we'll probably do that after, after we get in and we find, you know, stuff he likes. But yeah, his office is kind of cool because it looks out to the street and then it's nice and open and bright in here. 
So much better than being in the basement. But they did such an awesome job painting. They are awesome. And I'm so glad we didn't have to do all of this on our own. Oh, so much. Um, I'm just waiting for John to get um, the stuff in so we can set up to paint. We painted the hallway. We have to put another coat on. And then we did the dining room too. We have to put another coat on there. We just have a little bit left of the brown. <laughs> just this. We need to finish painting in the kitchen too. All right, guys, we were only here for a few hours because we, we have other things we have to do. Uh, John has to work, obviously. Um, but I painted all of this. It's drying. I say that every time. I know you guys know it looks looks tricky because it's drying. But um, yeah, busted that out. It needs a second coat and then um, we're painting the ceiling part too. And John was cutting in in here. We've got a lot of the baseboards installed so far. Um, so that makes it look so nice. And what else? Oh, the same guy who's doing our floors, he's a carpenter and everything. He is doing the cabinets and um, he's been in the business for a long time. So that, that's good. Um, he has the cabinets figured out. I think he is going to, or maybe already ordered two that we need, um, just to make sure we have all of the right sizes and everything. And he's going to finish the tops off. We have the crown molding, but he's going to add some molding to that, make it even higher and really finish it off. And then did you ask him yet about finishing the sides of the island? Not yet, but we're going to ask him to do that too, um, just to make the island, you know, more finished looking on the sides. And what else? Anything else? Oh, the um, the granite guy is coming back out once we get the cabinets in to measure. He said he can do the tile around our fireplaces, um, and he's already going to do the backsplash. Um, and he said he could cut the granite for our powder room. We just need to paint the mantles, and the man who's doing the cabinets and the floors is going to install those for us. Almost at the pond again. Yeah. Anything, any other updates? Um, Just the other day it was all icy. Yeah. Thought we could walk in the back if you want for a minute and see what's going on back there. Oh, you want to? Yeah. Probably need my coat. Oh, it's, it's warm. Oh, it is? Mm. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're Michigan folks. I'm a Michigan born and raised out here, 45 degrees, no coat. <laughs> yeah, when it gets 45, people here, they're, they're in shorts and <laughs> just about ready to go swimming. <laughs> yeah, it's really sunny. If it was 45 and not sunny, that would be a different story. Ooh. This is going to be so great in the summer. And we'll finally be done with most of our projects so we can have people over and I just Hang realized out. we have another hazy window. I didn't even see that. Really? Yep. Is it really hazy or is it just dirty? I think it's, uh, I think it's fogged up. Because that looks kind of like spiral marks on there. I mean, it might be, but it looks... It kind of looks smeary to me. We'll clean it before we uh, yeah. figure that. Because I can see circle circle marks on it. Hopefully that's all it is. If you want to show them another project you can look up on the roof. <laughs> Fun time. <laughs> Lots of projects. Our chase cover up there is seeing better days. If you don't know what a chase cover is, it's a... Uh, what is it? <laughs> it's a chase cover. Oh, okay. It covers the flue pipe that comes up from the fireplace. Yeah, we just had that looked at. We had our our uh, fireplace all checked out to make sure it was safe and everything and then they came back and checked this out. 
so that's a, another project and the landscaping will be <laughs> definitely a project <laughs> all this I mean not all of it but a lot of this is gonna be chopped down and we are big-time landscaping people we do not like overgrown stuff in our yard I'm sure the neighbors will be happy about that there's a lot a, of overgrowth on the side we've got enough stuff back here to uh, build a bridge across the pond if we wanted to <laughs> you want to you want to walk around here sure why don't you film and, and talk I like your perspective sometimes Oh, this is oh. deep. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> we're from Michigan, but we're not we're not that cool. I was gonna show you the uh, overgrowth back there, but I just have to take my word for it. It's overgrown. <laughs> we actually need to get going. Yeah. All right, guys. We're gonna call it a call it a vlog. Thanks so much for watching.